we're back to abandoned Chestnut Lodge Asylum and under Gibbs. I like the way the music fades into the game when you start it. That's nice, a nice touch. So we have ourselves a boat, which means we can go upstairs and unlock another door. And find out what is behind door number four or five. I've, I've lost track, actually. You've got the spider door. You've got the clown door. You've got the mirror door. I think those are the three that have opened on the right side, right? Yeah, that's right. So you've got clown, mirrors, and spiders. So now we get to do this one. It must be water related. Got like barnacles on it or something. Let's go inside. Oh. Waiting for it to do its thing. Definitely water related. <laughs> Huh. You know, it just kind of dawned on me that each of these rooms, each of these asylum rooms, has kind of a typical fear. Fear of clowns. Fear, fear of spiders. Uh, I guess fear of, like, maybe it's Bloody Mary or, or mirrors. Fear of water or drowning. Very, very nice touch. So what do we have here? I can't reach the wrench. Oh my gosh, I gotta cut this. Wrench, I've been looking for you for ages, and now I realize we're going to have to go and fix the pool. And that's water related. Huh. Nifty. Are those leeches? Oh, oh. Look at that. That one opened now, too. Ah, oh, and I bet you the star has to go to this one at the back, too. Okay, was there anything else to do in here? No. Okay, so let's go to the pool. Downstairs we go. Go for a dip in that pool. It would be a virtual dip because the pool has no water in it. Okay, let's fix this up. I like how our inventory is slowly shrinking. Really? I gotta do each screw? Wow. That's pretty intense. Let's go for a dip. Another skeleton! And more deadly premonition sound effects. In fact, they use it in that game for any kind of like, aha kind of moment as well. Actually, I think they use it quite a lot. I think it's at the menu whenever you open it. Got the circle now, too. Oh, look at that. We had a corkscrew. Who's this dude? We are more often frightened than hurt, and we suffer more from imagination than from reality. Hmm. Pretty awesome. Look at the water. The water looks gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. Considering how old this game, and you know, it's got a dated feel to it, this particular scene looks incredible. This one is from the water room. I guess a man who was terrified of a single drop of water faces his death at the bottom of a pool. Weird. If this was some kind of therapy, then this therapy killed them one by one. Yeah, afraid of spiders, afraid of clowns. Afraid of water. Such a neat transition. Alright, let's go find out what's in the fifth room. We have a sixth one at the back there. What fear could possibly be in here? I'm thinking maybe fire? Claustrophobia. That's insane. What the heck is this? 
Recently I was asking myself how that man in the trunk had died, and I had no answer, but now I see that I was pretty close to the truth. According to what I saw today, he must have died from the thing he was most afraid of, the lack of oxygen, which is claustrophobia. I fear of small places. Burning candle. We need a key to open that chest. Looks like we have a... Uh, it's a slider puzzle! Yay! I like slider puzzles. We're totally gonna do this. Get that one out of the way. That one goes there. And now we have to get these ones out. Oh. So that one can go there. Boom, slider time. I really like the slider puzzles. Skeleton key, is that gonna actually work right here? What are the odds? It is. Jeez, another key? <laughs> oh jeez. Another key. Chest within a chest. Oh my goodness, what's this? Move the key along so it doesn't touch? Wow. This is kind of neat. This reminds me of Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I think it's like a spider, a cobra. You have to move this thing off this long metal tw inner tw or I guess it's like spun around wire. And if you touch the side of the wire, it buzzes. Yeah, Chuck E. Cheese for some reason. That's I'm sure it's at other amusement parks as well. Come on, Key. We're almost to the end. Don't touch. One more little bit. Oh, I thought I touched. Oh, right at the end there? That would have been such a troll move. What? Another chest? Oh my god. Ah, uh, something's hidden in the pillow. Another key. How many chests do you think there are, folks? Okay, so now we've got the last... Actually, no, I don't think that's the last piece, but... Uh... Oh! Star. I'm not exactly sure what that one would be. Is that a candle? No. Hmm. I love that this crowbar has been with me the entire adventure. So we're gonna go back downstairs. We've got a couple pieces for that, uh, I guess, guard house near the front. Go, go there and take care of that while we can. Still don't know what that TV's all about. We need a hand as well. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely need one more piece. Hmm. Blow up the balloon is my current task. Hmm. I need a compressor of some sort. And I have a candle too. Oh, that dog's just chewing on the bone there. Hmm. Definitely lots of spider action going on in this place. Don't think there's any left here, no. Or in here. Oh yeah, that's right, blow up the balloon. Fear has many eyes and can see things underground. Okay. So what did that trigger? Uh... I mean, this is the dude here. But I don't know what else we can do with him.
Nothing, it says. Nothing here. Upstairs. Oh, wait. We already looked at that, though. That was the code. Yeah, 962. That was for the, the briefcase. these books now. Twelfth Night? William Shakespeare! These are all to do with the clues, aren't they? Hmm. T.S. Eliot was one of them. Sigmund Freud was not. Secret passageway. Oh, good grief. What the heck is this? The wire is broken. Some sort of operating room. Uh, we can take the bolts off the ground there. Another secret area. Oh, goodness. We'd look for a safer way down. I could copy that somehow. With our wax. Okay, but we still need one more thing. Well, let's find out what we have here in Hidden Object Land. Classified. Bone saw, it looks like. What the heck is this? Oh, I got a baguette. We cut that open? Yep. Oh, we're gonna need that insulating tape, aren't we? Ship and a mask. I'm gonna repair that mask. Saxophone. I think one of these days, or rather years, I'm gonna buy a saxophone. Either a saxophone or an electric guitar. I don't know, which one should I get? I think, uh, from what I heard, the saxophone is really hard to learn, but... I think the electric guitar would be just as hard for me. Okay, electrical tape, do what you have to do. What the heck is that? It's a code. Wave for... Dark on the left. That's for the TV. Wave for dark on the left. Okay, let's go.